Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel has been carried away between the first and last deportation of Judah. Ezekiel takes place in Babylon. Jeremiah was written in Judah and Jerusalem. Ezekiel will see is after the fact, like Daniel. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, all right, so we're going to see dates here. As I was among the captives, captives, those who've been brought to Babylon by the river Shebar, then Babylon, that the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God. So God's not done with them. Even though they are out of the homeland, we read in uh, Lamentations, you know, Lord, you've forsaken us. No, he's not. He's speaking to them. 30th year would be 70 more years left. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity. And that, uh, note here, uh, 2 Chronicles 36, 9 through 11. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. That's the same thing we saw in Jeremiah. The son of Buzai, in, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Shebar, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. So, I mean, three verses. We know where he is. We know who he is. And Jeremiah was of the priest. I looked, and behold, a whirlwind, Isaiah 66, 15, came out of the north. Isaiah 14, 12, Psalm 75, 6, a great cloud, Acts 1, 9 through 11, Mark 14, 62, and a fire enfolding itself. That's a, that's a, a picture that Hollywood likes to uh, copy in most of its dramatic films, movies. That fire from the skies, the cloud. And a brightness, Matthew 17, verse 1 through 5, or verse 15. A brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color, this is an old English spelling, of amber, out of the midst of the fire, Second Thessalonians 1, 7. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. So they looked like a man. But oh boy, when we get when he gets speaking about them, everyone had four faces. So there are four creatures, each has four faces, and everyone has four wings. So that's not the that's not the picture that the Catholics draw. I mean the, the Catholics draw an angel with two wings. And their feet were straight feet, went straight down. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, split hoof. And they sparkled like the color of varnished brass. And they had the hands of a man under their wings. And their four sides were kind of rectangle-ish, kind of. And their four and they four had their faces and their wings. I mean, this is a ULC, undefined living creature, except for Jeremiah and those that are in heaven. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. The wings or they, I don't know. And went everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man. Intelligence of understanding matches Luke. The face of a lion, the king of the beasts, kingship, Matthew, on the right side, and they the face of a man, the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox, servitude, Mark, on the left side. 
And they four also had the face of an eagle, power of de deity, the Gospel of John. We see mankind, we see the wild beast of the lion, we see the uh, uh, domesticated animal of the ox, we see the fowl of the eagle, and we see no reptilian class. But we learn later on in Ezekiel that there is another living creature. Uh, chapter 10, verse 14, Daniel 7, 4, and Revelation 4, 7. You compare these with what you see in the beast of the Revelation. They are the same. The ox is called a cherub. Thus were their faces. And their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. I have no idea. They went every one straight forward. Whether the spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. Isn't that how they describe these UFOs? They just make these perfect right hand turns. I'm not saying they're UFOs, but this. As for their likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like the burning coals of fire, and like the appearance of lamps. It, the fire, went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. So when you get the glory one day, you're going to see lightning. <laughs> and guess what? You're going to see fire. The living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. They're quick. Now as I beheld the living creatures. Now you can imagine Jeremiah standing there with his jaw on the ground. What on earth? I'm reading it and saying what on earth? Behold one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. What on earth is a wheel? I have no idea. Larkin has a drawing if you want to check it out. The appearance of the wheels and their works were like unto a color of barrel. When I looked up barrel, barrel has various different colors. And they four had one likeness. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel, a rotary. When they went, they went upon their four sides. And they turned not when they went. This chapter is a great, I don't know. All, as for their rings, well, what rings? There were rings. They were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes round about them for. Now you see where the Catholics get the pictures of angels with wings and a halo. But where is the lion? Where is the ox? Where is the eagle? Like, where is their Ten Commandments? They take they take Ten Commandments, get rid of one command, split number ten into two, and now we're back to ten. Oh, uh, the ring. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. When the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. They explain it. I can't. Whither so the Spirit was to go, that's the Holy Spirit, they went. And then it was the Spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the Spirit of the living creatures was in the wheel. When those went, these went. <laughs> when those stood, these stood. When those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over again. You see where they get UFO technology? I mean, it does look like we're describing the UFO here. But they're not after water. They're not calling anybody inside. They're not mutilating any animals. They're not green. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheel. And the likeness of the firmament above the heads of the living creature... That space that we read about in Genesis 1. So there's a firmament between the, the ring and the, the heads of these people. Thing. 
Likeness of firmness upon their heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal. And that's not the terrible crystal. That's a magnifying, extraordinary, wow, like the terrible God. Of all the stuff he's done. Stretch forth over their heads above. So here is a, a vast space between the head and the ring. How do you describe a color of crystal but clear? And sparkling when the light shines through it. I believe you take light put it through a crystal. I think you get the, the spectrum. Which is stolen by the sodomites. Mm -hmm. And under the ferment were their wings straight. Oh, here we go again. So they flew in their own kind of space. And the one toward the other, everyone had two, which covered on this side, and everyone had two, which covered on that side, their body. Okay. That helped. When they went, I heard the voice, the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters. I've heard that before. You want to go to the go to any waterfall, any mighty rushing river, as the voice of the Almighty. What? What's God's voice sound like? The voice of speech, as the noise of a host, a whole bunch of people, when they stood. They let down their wings. Okay, that helped. <laughs> Thank you. I'm completely in the dark now. Wings that go up and down. But they don't move. They go straight, but they don't turn, but they turn. Yeah. I'm not doubting Ezekiel. I'm just, just want, wait to the day when I meet these creatures in glory. And I'll be able to understand. Wouldn't it be great to see one of these things? Hollywood couldn't even met how how could Hollywood do a e book on Ezekiel and do any justice, holy justice to what God has created? And what Ezekiel means my strength is in God. Above and above the ferment that was over their heads was like the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of the sapphire stone. Upon the likeness of the throne was a likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. So you got these four creatures. You got this space that's crystal and rainbow. Does that remind you somewhere in the Bible? Where the, the Bible speaks about in Revelation that there was a round rainbow around the throne. And then there's this ring or ring. And then above these rings is a throne with a man sitting on it. And I saw as the color of amber, like a yellowish, as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire. What's the Bible saying, Hebrews? My God is a consuming fire. And it had brightness round about. As for the appearance of the bow, that's been stolen today by sexual perverts, that is in the cloud in the day of rain, it tells you what it is, so you trying to tell me that these four creatures are sodomites? You're doing injustice to God and His Word. You better be careful what you're doing. Think of all those people on Facebook who has their their character image embellished in a rainbow color. You do that, you're liking yourself to God Almighty. Because this rainbow came before the flood. The, the, the rainbow and the flood came after these creatures. These creatures, are, God created them, and there was a rainbow. And we read in Revelation that that rainbow is about the throne, 
And when the floods were over, God says, I'm going to put a bow in the sky every time it rains to remind me of the covenant with you. He just let the earth borrow that rainbow from these creatures and from his throne as how holy God is. We're going to see a rainbow in eternity every time when we see the throne. So when you look at that rainbow, what are you supposed to think of? You're supposed to think of God. You're supposed to think of God upon the throne with these characters around the throne as they show up in Revelation chapter 4. Ezekiel is going to match Revelation. He's going to match Daniel. You are seeing God in his holy state. And what is it? Fire. We're going to see God in his holy state by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, through Christ, and by Christ. It's not going to be fire. Read Revelation see what, he, what God is described about on that throne. The day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. You imagine what that rainbow is going to look like when we get with the holy eyes? The glorified eyes in the new in the new body, you couldn't even possibly fathom what that spectrum of that rainbow around the. If you were to pop up in heaven right now, as we are, that rainbow itself would just blind your eyes, even before you got to see God. It says over here, verse four, it came out of the north and a great cloud. So Jeremiah has got these kind of sunglasses on, and it's called a cloud. And he's not going to get no golden plates. You see where Joseph Smith stole the vision? Jeremiah is a sinner. He's going to admit he's a sinner. Jeremiah says, I can't even open my mouth. And they got the live coals and put it upon his tongue that he may speak. This is after the judgment upon Judah and upon Jerusalem that he's in Babylon. God says, here I am. I ain't finished with you. You know what America wants? And pretty much everyone we deal with, when, when we go witnessing to them and we go preaching to them, we go tell them with an open Bible, oh, I want to see him. How many times did someone ask us, oh, I want to see God? You can't. If you were to see God, what did he tell Moses? No one can see my face and live. Look and live? Only after you've died. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of God. What? What we just read. The fire. The rainbow. So you're going to match that to a bunch of sodomites. Hey, we've been talking about Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses all through Jeremiah. Let's get on the Sodomites now. They have stolen God's image. That he allowed Noah and the animals as a covenant. Do you realize what God told Noah and those animals? I am going to give you part of me and my throne for all ages. That when I see my bow, I'm going to remember what I told you guys. And not only did God say, so help me by me, and put his hand upon Jesus, the word, he says, here, I'll give you a little bit of my throne. Next time you see that rainbow, just look at it and say, that's what you're going to see if you're saved and when you see God forever. And the brightness of a color you can't even expound it to talk about. Imagine a rainbow without sin and purity, with your eyes and your body without sin and purity, looking that way. And there may be, and I don't want to get into it, but there may be a possible that one day that God will be a vision to us and not just a spirit. I don't know. This was the appearance of the likeness and the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, with the clouds, I fell on my face, 
and I heard a voice of one that spank, and oh, that's a way to open up Ezekiel. And that's where we close for now.